Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 49th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to see how we can create a MySQL database uh, using Python and uh, how we can switch to that database and also how we can create a table in that database, right? So we're going to start off where we left in the last tutorial. In the last tutorial, we understood how we can import the MySQL.connector uh, module, how we can create a connection object by supplying the required, uh, uh, you know, arguments and then how we can create a cursor object and how we can execute, you know, simple SQL statements. So we're going to start off from uh, where we left. And as you can see, uh, I have a fresh shell session here and I have uh, imported the MySQL connector module. I've also created a connection object. I've given it the name uh, CO double N and uh, I've also created a cursor object uh, using the cursor method, right? So uh, one thing that I've done differently is that uh, while uh, establishing a connection with the MySQL server, I haven't uh, specified the database name as an argument to the connect method. And the reason why I haven't uh, specified, uh, you know, the name of the database here is because we'll be creating a new database and we'll be switching to that database. So I don't want uh, a connection to be established with, you know, a particular database uh, in MySQL. We'll be creating one and then we'll be switching to it, right? So the first thing that I'll do here is uh, I'll execute the create database uh, SQL statement and I'll show you guys my MySQL workbench. As you can see, I've got five databases at the moment, Joomla, Sakila, Strepsis, Test and World, right? So let's say I'm going to create a database called Python. So the command for that is going to be my cursor dot execute and whenever you have to execute any SQL code, you have to use the execute function. And uh, in double quotes, I'll type in create database and then the name of the database which you want to create. So, you know, in this case, I want to create a database called Python. So I'll type in that and when I press the enter key, I'll go back to my my SQL workbench and I'll refresh the object browser. And you can see that there is a database here now that's called Python, right? And uh, in my SQL, we've automatically switched to this database because, you know, no other database was selected initially, right? But in Python, you'll have to do that. And uh, the command to do that is uh, use and the name of your database. So I want to use the Python database for all the operations that I'm going to perform next. So I'll type in use Python and uh, I'll press the enter key. And now we have switched to the Python database. So if you're going to create a table now, then that table will be created in the Python database, right? And uh, the command to create the table, the SQL statement, of course, is going to be create table. And uh, obviously, since we are, uh, you know, uh, going to execute an SQL query, we'll have to use the execute method here. And I'll get in triple quotes instead of, uh, you know, a single double quotation mark, because I know that my create table statement is going to span over multiple lines. So I'll type in create table. And let's say I want to create a table called uh, customer. So I'll type in customer here. And uh, on the next line, I'll get in the opening parentheses for my create table statement. Let's say I want to have a field called ID, which uh, is going to take a numeric value. So it can be of integer type. And I also want this field to be the primary key of the table. So, you know, I will type in ID space in space primary key. Let's say I want to have a field called name of uh, varchar type. And, uh, you know, I want this to have uh, an upper limit of let's say 30 characters. And uh, next I want to have uh, a field called uh, email and this two of varchar type and let's say email can have an upper limit of 30 characters too and uh, let's say next i want to have a field called city and uh, this two of varchar type and let's say city can have an upper limit of uh, 25 characters uh, next let's say i want to have uh, an age, uh, a field called age of uh, integer type because it's going to take in numeric values and uh, next Let's say I want to have a field called gender and uh, you know, this can be of character type and it's only going to take in two values M for males and F for females. So, you know, uh, I specify one within parentheses and uh, next let's say, oh, wait a second. I made a typo there. So next, let's say I want to have a field called uh, last underscore visit and uh, you know, this can be of date type, right? And, um, that's it. I don't want any more fields in my table. So I'll get in the closing parentheses of the create table statement and then, uh, you know, triple quotes and uh, the closing parentheses of the execute function. And when I, you know, get in the closing parentheses for the execute function, all my SQL code, everything that's within the parentheses for the execute function is highlighted in gray. And I'll press the enter key 
and uh, you know if you don't get any error then it means our table has been created successfully and there are two ways in which i can check whether my table has been created or not firstly of course i can execute the show tables command here and i can find out the other thing that i can do and the more convenient way is uh, you go to your uh, mysql workbench and then you click on the drop down for uh, python and then on the drop down for tables and you will be able to see the customer table here right and uh, you can also check out the structure of this table by executing desc space customer and a semicolon and when i press uh, control enter i see that i have all these fields and uh, they have you know the types that are specified and id is also the primary key so that constraints also there right so the sql is executed just as it should be you know whether you executed in mysql or whether you executed in python your sql code is going to be you know interpreted in the same way so that's it for now in the next tutorial we'll see how we can insert some data in this table and i first thought that i should discuss that in this tutorial only but then you know this will get too long and i've uh, got comments in the past that you know don't make long tutorials make only short tutorials so that's why i'm going to discuss that in the next tutorial and um, i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care